All right, welcome to Falcon Blues TV. Filthy animals, do you know what I mean? Sounds yeah. 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 I know it's been a while since me and you've done this, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just a. Uh, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, absolutely, yeah. That's fucking nearly there. Nearly a crimbo, nearly, nearly there. Oh, I know. I am. I'm busy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. I'm working it. Our good friend, fr fan of the channel, Mr. Colin Chong, has come out with a blog today. The main man. Yeah, explaining that Everton will be moving into Bramley Moor for the start of the 25 26 season, which means we've got about 18 months left to Goodison. So. Good. Because I don't yep. want to move mid-season either. It's about, if it includes Tuesday's so game. Jake, can I just show this off to the lovely audience here? You can you can find these in the link below. Yeah, we'll yeah. sort all that out. Uh, but yeah. It's love if hard, you, don't you do. <laughs> if you include the game on um, Tuesday, we've got about 30 home games left at Goodison Park. Give or take for whatever whatever games come through. Could have more when we get into Europe this season. That's mm -hmm. it, once we've won the League Cup. You know. So, my thoughts on it are great. I'm, I'm made up yeah. that this has come in, that we've, we've finally nailed it down to say, listen, there's going to be another season at Goodison, and during that time there's going to be a proper celebration. Which is right, because you don't want to leave Goodison I, why would you fuck it off at Easter? I know. Well, it's, give it's, it's, the one of yeah. the first custom purpose built stadiums in the country the proper send off that it deserves. The first that had under soil heating as well. We were the first team that had numbers on the back of the ship. Me and Jay did the Everton. So, 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 so many Everton fans. Loads of firsts, yeah. But then don't leave Goodison Park to just go, oh, well, we're fucking off in Easter. Just because there's a big shiny stadium there. Now give it the send off it deserves. Let's get right through a full season. Let's be in Europe. Let's win the Europa League. Yeah. Let's win all this, that, <laughs> and the other. You know, and let's be. Let's give it that. Goodison Park send off because it's not. I know I've talked a lot here. It's not just going to be Evertonians who want to who are going to be gutted to leave Goodison. The away fans, I know the Bullens is shit and it's a tiny little pokey thing, but it's an institution to people. Yeah. People have been to this stadium for fucking years, longer than me and you, Paul. I know, longer than we've been. How, how many mean? years has your dad worked there, though? Exactly, and that, that proves the point. You know, there's, there's so much nostalgia about the stadium that you just think, no, I don't want to leave the, you know, I don't. I just don't want to up sticks and go. Yeah. Because it, it, it'll be hard, it's going to be a tough time for a lot of Evertonians to leave. It is, it's going to be a sad day, isn't it? Like, well, hopefully it's a good day. Mm. Remember the one at West Ham had with Upton Park, and weirdly they had like four acnes come on the pitch and then well, some singing. It. Upton Park, Dell, Roker Park, Highbury. Give them, main roads, they main roads. Yeah, they were all given the send-off that the, the, the fit befits their club. And to just up sticks and go from Goodison straight to Bramley Moor doesn't sit right with me. And I think the club's decision there... To go, okay, well, there's plenty of time because that's our home. Yeah, and that was after Forever. consulting the fans, they've said you know, as well. So, first there's like. plenty of time to make money from concerts, from events, from all sorts. That's yeah, be they going have to on. do so many test events as well, don't but, they? But, but get the logistics right. Yeah. Get the fucking infrastructure right. And to be there's fair, they have, haven't they? Yeah, you know. Going from Sand Hills to, good, to Bramley Moor is a ball ache. So, ah, it's, 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 it will be when it's busy, but you know. You know, we'll, we'll wait if, for if Yeah, but I don't... I've seen what they've done with Hellbolt Lane and I don't trust Mersey Real to fucking do anything like that. Hellbolt Lane pisses <laughs> me right off. So Hold then, on. Yeah. In fact, fuck it. You know what? Hellbolt Lane. <laughs> new train on, station. 176. <laughs> Congratulations. A train station. That's a face. <laughs> an inanimate <laughs> object. Because it is an animal. Congratulations, Hellbolt Lane. You fucking pricks. You just made the list. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> right. So, Hellbolt Lane just made the list. So, that's what I mean. So, they've got to get the logistics right. So and... Steve. We'll show, we'll show them in a minute. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, 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 I'm quite easy. Carry on. I'm dude. monologuing here. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Let us know what you think in the comments about it because you know it's a big decision for the club. It's a big decision for the fans. And I think the club taking it out of the fans' hands and going, "Listen, this is what we're doing." It, no if buts or yeah. maybes about it. That's it. We're moving. So 2020, 25, 26 season will be Full in Bradley Moor, and me and Paul will be there, and hopefully you will as well be. So yeah, yeah. Moving swiftly on to tomorrow's yeah, game. Yeah, Everton are playing Burnley at half five, and uh, unfortunately, I'm not going. It's me work night out, but have I'll got, be able to. Uh, have you got your banner on your phone now? Your corrupt sign and stuff like that. Well, and I've got this. Who's got if one of these? People get in the stadium with these, and, and if you can get it in A three, even better. There was a lad at Forest. I gave him one on the coach, and he was about six old. So every time in the corner or something, it's just like that. <laughs> love it, love it. But yeah, Matthew still sniffs bikes. Yeah, I've got, I'll, I'll just go over to the podium, Dave. Okay, so got yeah. Got some team so news here. Burnley tomorrow, and it's looking likely that Keane will be in the in the starting yeah, lineup. Yeah, Keane should be fifth after missing last week. Ashley Young and Seamus Coleman have been ruled out. Which we expected. Just, yeah, Drisha Gay and Gerard Branthwaite are both out with one-match suspensions. 
Uh, Michael and Gauza, man and Lingle, but I said he reckons he's a. Uh, Paul's just talking, right. I'm just dancing just to yeah. keep, this, keep this video going rather than me standing like this. Some, some stats for you, Dave. Uh, Burnley are unbeaten in three home meetings with Everton, including coming from behind to win 3 2 last season. That's incorrect that they went in the league last season. That, that was the season, season before. before. Was but that, was a, that was a grim night. We were there for that one, weren't we, Dave? Hard Jesus, it. yeah. Hard uh, night. They've won five of their eight Premier League home games again. Oh, fuck that. Right. Let's just say, uh, Everton. 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 Everton are looking for a four consecutive league win for the first time in three years. They have, they last had a run like this without conceding a goal, which was in November 20, 2022. That was under David Moyes, if you remember. Mm-hmm. Um, 2022? Uh, 2012. Yeah, yeah. Well, 20, 2002, 2002, yeah. Well. Uh, an eight league victory of the season with equal last season has been told. So the fucking toffees are flying here compared to last season. So this is the whole thing where they're all going, oh, well, the points deduction and all this. Fuck Everton, keeper. this was coming. Everton have been waiting for this point where we we'd start beating teams and we start winning games. You know, we look at those opening three games there, Fulham and Wolves. We know Luton. Mm-hmm. We, we know we should be. You know, but we were putting in the chances. We just weren't putting the, the yeah, ball in yeah. net. We've started doing that. Okay, one nil wins. Who gives a toss? I'll win one nil all season for all I care. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? One nil to the Everton. Clean sheets every as well. Fucking week. Every week I will take that. It's nice to see clean sheets again as well, isn't it? You Definitely. know what I mean? They're, they're and, all and my sheets well. are clean. We're not having to actually worry. You know, getting sleepless nights and stuff. Well, actually, feel, when you're feeling confident about heaven, something. My sheets clean as well. I put fresh bed, don't I? I don't take after them. Something's. No, I think I think tomorrow's going to be a tough game, though. I think. This yeah, is, yeah. This is this is the litmus test for Everton now. It's like, well, okay, you've beaten Chelsea, you've had good good running results, but now there's teams that we're going to be playing teams that are struggling. How are you going to compete against that? And Burnley will want to fly off the traps. They'll want to put they'll want to put something on Tarkovsky. On Dice, on McNeil, on Keane. Yeah. They'll be bang up for it. I, be, I did love um I, I watched press, Dice's press constantly went, is it gonna be setting mental when you go back? And he goes, No, no. <laughs> I, I, look how he goes, I've got respect for them, but when when that night's missed I'm doing my job. I'm an Everton fan. And then yeah. I loved when he said uh, he goes I might go down the pub with some of the old boys. He goes, because uh, people think he owns it because he's, he likes to go in there for a bevy, yeah. Fuck, love that. My my manager that, yeah. Look the fucking stuff he's like. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, you can get these. So now, yeah, well. moving yeah. swiftly on now to uh, Hawk and everything. Falcon Blues bottle openers, Magnetic. Are four pounds, and they fit on your fridge, and you know they should. It's made of bamboo. No, it's no. got to be metal, yeah. That's the. Oh. It fits on the dartboard, though. I know yeah, that. Fits on your yeah. dartboard, so. Fits you on your fridge, you know. Four quid, great Falcon fella. Made of bamboo. Try Tom. Hurry up though, because if you just want them, be quick. Yeah. Yeah. Only cost. Shipping. Shipping. We need to be have, the, have these out for you by the eighteenth. So. Whatever, up the fucking toffees. Colin See you after yeah. Burnley. Colin Chong. Nice one. Feeding 25, 26. Matthew Sniff Spike Seats. 